bit more aggressive in lane. Yeah, and with it deny, I mean, it's going to be pushed up to his wave, so there's only minimal impact that he can have on there. Oh. Early uh, shrapnel coming out. and Bottom Ajiji. lane, Zai gets spun on. Ooh, spin to win. I size, he gets him inside the cogs, and that Rubik going to get your first blood. Double boots, bang off. All right, Rubik having boots, Bernie having boots, and it's Rubik getting the last hit on that kill, so really nice start for Team Big God here in game two. RTK at top getting some decent XP, has the creep wave in a good position as well, and... He should be able to do okay here. Up against the dual lane, all of these games that Secret of Picky Enigma, they're just getting completely away with the Enigma jungle here. We'll see Zhao wait, maybe get caught out here. There's a black hole available. Puppy looking for it, but there's a lift up and doesn't get it off immediately. Gets the Malphus onto Zhao wait. Black hole catches two now, and there's no lift left. The Razor's coming for the low gun. Arteezy gets two on your sound. So Zhao wait, phase boots looking to run away. Until another raise comes up, Arteezy will not be able to get this kill. At least it doesn't look like it. Phase boots up in a second, gets the raise off. The long range raise finds your sniper and it's a double kill for Arteezy. Three kills in total go Secret's way there. And that is extremely difficult to kill and he's been taking down so many towers. He can also split push out lanes whereas Silence and Rubik can't really do so. Bottom lane, Zai gets caught out by, uh, well, RTK's first kill of the game as he gets the assist for that one. Silence gets the last hit and Ice Ice will TP himself out. The Fisher coming too late to cancel that. So a one for one trade. The clockwork going down mid lane though. Shadow Fiend in trouble. Has an Aegis here. He's going to lose that and Burning. No Omni Slash or he may have gone for a second kill. Actually, he's going to go back. They drop the Shrapnel and Burning wants to try and fight. Requiem of Souls. Pump faked by Arteezy. Oh, if Burning had... There, your Rubik Telekinesis comes into play. We are going to see Sniper get caught out here. Zhao gets forced up to the side. Doesn't get to the low ground. The Cogs push him down though. He will end up dying here. They're going to lose Zai in the process. Cogs get stolen. Ice size. Gonna block the chase from Team Secret. In comes your Rec Room Burning. Gonna Omni Slash cancel. The, needs the RNG. Doesn't get back to Arteezy. Arteezy will drop the ultimate now. And Big God not gonna chase into that. Very close to getting that kill on the Shadow Fiend. If you got a bit luckier, maybe with the jumps on the Omni Slash. But I thought he was gonna spin and right click on onto Shadow Fiend. That was close. There were a lot of creeps there. That would have required. A, Amazing to yeah. be around that area and all without being scared. Oh, yeah. shot gonna come in. They catch up burning here. The global sound's being used. He's gonna blade fury. Try to get out of this one. He comes Puppy with a BKB black hole. He says no Omni Slash for you. Puppy has to commit a lot to get that kill, but it's a pretty big kill to be getting, especially if Roshan respawns soon. It could open up Secret to take ages for that themselves. That is such a risky place to go with the... Oh. They're looking to fight. They catch out S4. The Blink Lasso is there. S4 going to go down. The Yule Scepter not enough. Narteezy now be forced to pop his BKB. Requiem of Souls comes out. Gets stolen by Ice Ice Size. And the Assassinate will finish off your Urshaker. Burning wants to chase. He's got an Omni Slash. He's going to chop down Arteezy. If Arteezy isn't careful, the Cogs perfectly placed. RNTK blinks to the high ground, but Arteezy may look to fight him if he's not careful. Napalm continuing to slow as the chase is on. Arteezy, no BKB, only has the Yule Scepter and won't even get a chance to pop it. He pops. Wow, amazing chase by a big guy there, and ROTK makes a big play by lassoing S4. The Fidra tries to come out to save him, but it's just not a good enough counter initiate. Oh, gets cancelled. Jawe does not want to get jumped here. The hookshot going to come in. Can they keep him alive? They need to four staff him out. They do to do so, but he takes a lot of damage. Jawe BKBs. He will survive, and now he can turn and right click. S4 going to go down to the right click of Sniper. The Assassin is there. The Echo Slam on Burning and Burning. No solution to the right click damage of Team Secret. Arteezy now gets lassoed. He uses himself in the air. It's going to be getting dropped now, and without a BKB, it looks like Arteezy going down to this Sniper who managed to survive the initial engagement from Team Secret. They lose three in the process. In goes RTK trapped inside the cogs. There's an assassinate coming from your sniper. It's not going to be enough damage right off the bat. Four stuff out of the cogs. Three for one trade so far. The Rocket Flare gets RTK low but doesn't kill him. That sniper, very... It's just impressive how much damage he did that entire fight while on less than like 200 I'm AP. surprised he didn't die there. That was so close. That, that initiate by Secret actually owned them. They hookshotted into the sniper and then he got forced out and then he BKB'd and Troll actually blinked yep. into the cogs and then he got trapped. The high ground advantage for the time being. They haven't scattered out this smoke just yet. 
They know what's up. Ice Eyes hiding behind a tree there. Now reveals himself. Zai sees him. Hook shots in, but this is maybe not the best time to go. And he forced up out of the cogs, and this is going to go badly. S4 blinks in very aggressively. Wants the Zhao Wei sniper. He may be BKB, but he's got to run. And S4 doing a really good job of pressing him back, but now he's going to get slowed. His BKB he actually doesn't have a BKB. Zhao Wei four staffing around. Brings down your troll warlord. Elsewhere, it's the puppy Enigma unable to find the black hole. Still has a BKB, but there's a Rubik's Stealth Spill. And now the Omni Slash coming into play. The Fissure going to look to zone out the the rest of the team but burning gets two with the big omni three on the sidelines gem on the ground lamb will look to pick that one up and wow easy roach mvp four staffs four staff usage by a big guy has been incredible first the save on the sniper on the bottom lane next to the tier four staff usage and the oh, high ground now being siege burning stuck on him the side gonna look to play here. he's got rtk coming in the oh it's not gonna be wasted as there was a yule scepter and enigma already dead no black hole now, no buyback for Puppy. Zai gets low. The last word damage could be enough here. Requiem of Souls is going to bring down your sniper, and with sniper dead, at least a lot of the big god damage has been dealt with Global Science as Burning Respawns. They may look to fight this one. Nice. Curse coming in from Lamb, catching out three, and Kuro gets what? Won't even get the last fissure off. He's going to go down. Arteezy now in trouble. Burning on top of him with some big right click damage. The Battle Axe is going to go whirling around. Wow. Going to miss some, and that's a dead shadow. Another game. stolen Requiem by Ice Ice. You talked about this guy before the start of the game. Well, that is a big steal. It ended up on Kiro's death, and this game is wow. People with Big God talked about which team is Burning going to be joining after the DAC. Which team is Yahweh going to be joining? The real question is. Where are Lamb and Ice Ice going? These guys have been one of the best. Puppy going to come in from behind. Once Burning may just go for a solo black hole here, but also to be worried about this Rubik. Rubik being dealt with by Kuro. Chain stuns him for the time being, but ROTK has a Shiver's Guard all of a sudden. Echo Slam from Kuro. The black hole gets used. It gets stolen, but he full stuffed in. He's going to go for this one. Oh, Willy. He's getting stunned up. Four here on Black Hole, but there's no damage. The Flame Break pushes them outside of it almost, and it looked nice. Wow. But it didn't get too much Imagine time. if he didn't force that in oh. and he was able to save Burning. If oh my goodness. he saves Burning and Burning like kills a hero or two, that would have been insane. Ice Ice is making the plays happen, even if the outcome on that one wasn't as good as he would have hoped for. Five heroes. The mid lane going to get sieged up and... Burning on the high ground here, gonna blink in the barrel. Immediate Yule Scepter, can they blow up RTK? Does not have a BKB, went for the Shivers Guard instead, and ROTK, too aggressive in the front line, gonna drop a gem as well. Hookshot now goes in, catches two. Burning gets pushed back, he could just get right click down if he's not careful. The Blade Fury preventing any further stuns here. Zhao Wei trapped inside the cogs here, that was a much better cogs there. The full stuff comes maybe a bit too late. The Healing Ward gonna finally get dealt with by ATZ. Omni Slash going through S4, assassinate from afar, brings down your troll wallet. The Global Silence now being used, but it's too late to save Burning's life. It's an Echo Slam from Ice Ice, this guy. He keeps stealing these big spells. Maybe it didn't matter once more, but... Why, oh, TK, game. why? The it's Shivers get a BKB. It Helped out a lot in their last push. It looked nice then, but he needs me. He can also right click the Shadow Fiend through the Butterfly. So Shadow 8 is just way over far compared to S4. S4 is actually only 14,800 net worth. Oh, goodbye, puppy. He gets picked off in the top lane. Does have a buyback available, but loses one of those precious gems. He could have another one back at base, and there will be a Roshan respawn in one minute time. Oh, RTK goes in, catches out Kuro. Another pick off secret. Giving up a couple of freebies themselves. No buyback on Earthshaker. They're going for the counter push at bottom lane, but it looks like mid lane of Rack is going to go down. TP back from RTZ. The glyph coming out now as well. Puppy moves forward. Doesn't want to go for the black hole as it's going to be an easy steal for your Rubik who's sitting back. Now your Rax is going to get focused down the midnight pulse lane. Being laying down. Zhao Wade in trouble. Gets forced up out once more. BKB one right click will be it. Shadow Fiend barely gets a kill on your sniper who did BKB there. Now RTK next in line without a BKB. He's going to go down and lose a freshly purchased gem. The hook shot, meanwhile, uh-oh. Lamb going to be another casualty on the big god side. They've lost two, and it's about to become a third. Didn't get a chance to use the global silence in that team fight, and they did get the melee racks, but it feels like they had to pay a pretty heavy How price. How was Xiao 8 so low at the beginning of the fight? I didn't actually see. He he got the hook shot. Pulse. The age gets reclaimed, though, so maybe a fight that big god want to take. ROTK, what are you doing? Gets hit, does not get the blink out. ROTK, please! No, ROTK! Why? At least he has buyback, but he lost the gem. Oh, 
loses the gem. Lamb on the low ground does have a global silence. Is he going to throw it here? Looks like he's just going to die without using it. He does not have a buyback. S4 now gets pulled onto the high ground. The sniper right click damage. He gets the cheese off though. And Kuro's blinked into his own death here. Puppy now blink. Black hole on three. But this cancels. They're Omni Slash from Burning. Saves the day. A huge Omni Slash. Yao Wei on the sniper. Going to go down to the right click damage of Arteezy. Triple kill for Arteezy. But he's going to pay the price as Burning gets himself a double kill. They lose the clockwork as well. Four heroes dead. Enigma TP's home. And a big team fight victory. That looked like the black hole puppy had been after all game long. It was. It was like, okay, Silencer's dead. I can finally do it. Oh my goodness. Burning. I talked about the three, like the big three, the Rubik, the Lasso, as well as the Global Silence. It's the Omni Slash. That's what it was. Saving it, the day. It was still a risk. Black hole. Silencer still could have bought back and Global. So. He didn't have, I mean, yeah. Secret don't know that end of the yeah. day. So it, it was still a risky play, but he had to go for it. That, that was, was a game-winning play if they, if, if they win that fight. And it was a game-winning play by Burning to cancel it. Well, back the other way we fortified. go. Buyback still available in your troll wallet if he wants to use it. Five seconds on your Kuroki Earthshaker and Dyer's Burning can get the range tracks. And looks like he wants to move on to the tier 4 towers. Cannot go for the top lane as there is a tier 2. Dyer's Gets one tier 4, starts working on the other. Other problem is Shadow Fiend, low on souls after dying. Troll gonna buy back into this fight. ROTK in trouble. I feel like I've said this too many times this game. He gets Echo Slam. The Global Silence comes in. Damage has been done and Zai cannot finish off ROTK. He pops the Ghost Scepter. Once burning here, they've got detection. Hook shot in, but the Yule Scepter also being used in tandem. And that is not the play you wanna make. Gives burning the opportunity to go for Blade Fury. Lasso onto Puppy, who does not have another black hole. He's gonna get right clicked down by your sniper. Kuro misses his initiation. As a result, dead Enigma will be forced to buy back. No Earthshaker, no troll. It's a dieback from your S4 troll warlord and Zai. Uh oh, here comes the assassinate. Not enough damage. He survives on 40 HP, but he's gonna have to heal up and the throat exposed. Big God getting one step closer to a game three. Arteezy gonna throw off a Requiem of Souls. Just slow down the damage output here. He's just throwing razors. He flutters back to the fountain and it looks like one last to rise. Zai hook shots in, catches out Zhao Wei. He gets forced up into a cult. He's got no buyback on the sniper. Buyback comes out from your juggernaut. They've got to get the throne here. TP in from burning with the boots of travel. He's got an Omni Slash and who's he gonna go for? Onto Arteezy. Omni Slash comes out. Arteezy gonna get sliced and diced onto your Zai clockwork as well. It's a team one. Secret, I've lost game two. We're going to a game three. Big God bounce back once more here in the Dota 2 Asia Championships. I think Juggernaut has been burning standout hero for this tournament. Uh, widely reputed for his anti mage as well as his Morphling, Weaver, some other hard carries. But this tournament has been his Juggernaut. It has been way better than his other heroes. He's had a significant early, mid, and late game impact. And sure, he has some dicey deaths there, but that Omni Slash to cancel the Black Hole was the finishing blow. That